In the previous episode, we left Taehyun being trapped inside an S-rank dungeon called Apocalypto. All of the test takers who came with him were already defeated. This also includes their moderator, Mei Dohawk. The boss monster had already given the order to finish these foolish humans who dared to enter his lair. But right when our MC was about to die, he found the ring that Ma Dohawk dropped. This then gave him enough additional stats to unlock his predation skill once again. And now, let's witness the epic comeback of Kim Taehyun against these fuckers. A notification window informed him that he had equipped the Sage's Ring. All stats have also increased by 10. With that, all conditions are met. The Seal of Predation is released. Kim Taehyun's eyes glowed red. Dark aura started to emit from his body. Several corpses lay on the ground. Taehyun moved so fast that he disappeared in a blink of an eye. While rushing towards the throne, he blasted the surrounding Death Knights with his powerful attack. The other Death Knights rushed towards him in an attempt to attack from above. He concentrated his power on his palms in anticipation of this attack. He assumed a combat stance while the Death Knights crowd around him. In his head, he estimated that the time to completely use his skill devour is 10 seconds. With that, he knew that he can't solely rely on predation. He thought of all the skills he had gathered so far and all the stats he had built up. He decided to use everything he has. It's his only way to survive. Our MC even imbued and surrounded a sword with his stone skill. He continued to fight for his life, but he was caught off guard. Suddenly, a massive explosion happened. Dust and debris covered the area. When it cleared up, it revealed a gigantic spear firmly embedded on the ground. Taehyun wondered what it was. Realization dawned on him. He looked at the throne and saw that it was the Lord of the Death Knights that threw it. Lord of the Death Knights was oozing with power. Several gigantic blades appeared on top of Taehyun. He muttered, This is crazy! And the blades targeted him. It fell like rain and every collision to the ground caused a massive explosion. Taehyun ran for his life. The scene was chaotic. Taehyun glanced behind him. He found the timing to leap high as the blades continued to fall from the roof. He was already feeling desperate. He yelled loudly as he continued to struggle and appeared in front of the Lord of the Death Knights. The Lord of the Death Knights prepared to attack him once again. The power of this Lord started accumulating in the front of his palms. A spark formed out of thin air. And when it began to take form, it revealed a gigantic, dangerous-looking spear. It made Taiyun lose his balance and fall. While he was falling, the Lord of the Death Knights spoke to him. The Lord of the Death Knights told him that he was strong, but it was not enough. He claimed that this right here was a human's limitation. It launched its spear and created a massive explosion in the area. The ground was covered in smoke, debris, and the blades that collided with the ground. On a closer look, that massive explosion was actually the result of Lord of the Death Knights piercing Taehyun's body and stepping on his head. This boss monster then asked our MC one last question. It inquired on who gave him that power. Taehyun yelled in pain, but he did not answer, which led the Lord of the Death Knights to infuse more power on his blade. The notification window displayed that he resists the Night King's roar with a mysterious power, and he was partially successful in resisting. Sahyun yelled so loudly. The notification window displayed the same information again. Lord of the Death Knights revealed that he knew for a while now that Taehyun is not an ordinary human since he can understand their language. It then urged Taehyun to tell him the nature of his power. Our MC coughed up blood but continued to yell and resist. Consecutive, ah, can be heard from him until his consciousness was gone and entered another realm where he faced Asmodeus. He took a closer look at the unmoving Asmodeus. He checked its face for any sign of movement. Taehyun had a sullen expression on him. He checked his surroundings and saw several bodies lined up on the ground on his left, one of which is Ma Dohak's body. He was surprised to see it. Little did he know that the Lord of the Death Knights was behind him. To Taehyun, 
It felt like nothing had changed since then. He started questioning the nature of the predation skill, and how come he, a human, understood the language of demons and gained power and opportunity without understanding anything. Lord of the Death Knights was ready to strike him from behind, while Taeyun was consumed with his thoughts that nothing has changed. Lord of the Death Knights released his attack without Taehyun sensing him. All Taehyun thought of was the reason why the king gave him the power. All of a sudden, he heard a voice which said that should have already been explained. He was surprised, and in front of him, a bright light emerged. From that bright light, the king appeared. The king answered all his questions by saying that everything was merely because of admiration to his will and perseverance. He told Taehyun that he doesn't have to change. Taehyun's shock expression remained on his face while he absorbed it all in. King told him to just move forward. After that encounter, he immediately opened his eyes. He's back in the real world where Apocalypto loomed over his body. The Lord of the Death Knights asked him if he now lacked the courage to speak. It called him a pathetic human as it planned to end Taehyun. But the Lord of the Death Knights was in for a surprise. Taehyun moved at the speed of light. He moved quickly and with massive power that he cut off the arm of the Lord of the Death Knights. And then he proceeded to attack the surrounding Death Knights. The Lord of the Death Knights observed him carefully. Taehyun, who was standing in front of the Lord of the Death Knights, was oozing with power. This prompted Lord of the Death Knights to call him scum since he overloaded his skill to that point. Taehyun yelled loudly as more power coursed through his body. The notification window appeared three times, indicating the increase of his magic power by one. Lord of the Death Knights was amused by Taehyun's final struggle. It ran towards Taehyun. Excited to see his end, it swung its dangerous weapon, and it encapsulated Kim Taeyun with a powerful beam. It continued to release its power on this attack while watching Taehyun closely. But that attack seemed to have no effect on Taehyun. Our MC asked the Lord of the Death Knights if he's still curious about the nature of his power. Lord of the Death Knights was taken aback. In response to Lord of the Death Knights' curiosity, Taehyun taunted him to discover it for himself, which was followed by a potent energy gathering in Taehyun's hands. A notification window displayed that the rank is changed to B. Taehyun released the destructive power towards Apocalypto. This made Lord of the Death Knights yell from the agonizing pain. But Taehyun did not stop there. He grabbed a weapon, and with menacing eyes he dashed forward and sliced Lord of the Death Knights several times using his weapon. None of his attacks were blocked. Lord of the Death Knights screamed. His anger rose. This led the Lord of Death Knights to produce several blades out of thin air. The Lord of the Death Knights couldn't accept that a mere human did that. It counterattacked with all its might, but Kim Taeyun remained calm and concentrated on the power of his hand. He raised his fist while his power surrounds it. Slowly, his power around the fist began to take form. It extended like its forming limbs. But when he released it, it was a red entity with a wide mouth and sharp fangs. Lord of the Death Knights yelled as it saw its mouth coming closer. Taiyun, with a fierce expression on his face, corrected the Lord of the Death Knights as he says that it's not human, he added. It's the power of the king. And this menacing entity devoured the Lord of the Death Knights, completely erasing its existence. That caused a massive explosion in the air, and the notification window displayed that Taeyun gained a new skill called Knight's King Spirit. Meanwhile, on the starting area of the trial, people and ambulance cars were on standby. They carefully observed the portal. The organizers checked the remeasured power and found out a worrying result. It was S rank. Because of that, they issued an evacuation order, but the evacuation was delayed due to the dungeon's transformation. They wondered if the support troops could arrive before the dungeon break. Park Sungjin was stressed out on the sudden appearance of an S-rank magic power in a D-rank dungeon all of a sudden. He knew that if the situation continued, everyone could die. That made him think that he has to go in alone. But to their surprise, there was another activity in a dungeon. It was a dungeon break. They did not expect it so soon. Sungjin advised everyone to get ready. 
The dungeon emitted a bright light. Everyone waited in anticipation, yet Sungjin became confused when he saw the only person coming out from it. It was Kim Taeyun. He uttered, I barely made it back. Thanks to Taeyun's efforts, the double dungeon incident was resolved. The students managed to evacuate without any significant harm. The second exam results were decided based on the scores before the examination. The bodies of the deceased were discovered and safely returned to their families, and they resolved another issue, that it was not to disclose who cleared Apocalypto. Go Ti Wook and Park Sung Jin listen as their superior informs them that the organization might face criticism from the media. But if they revealed the truth, Ta Yun would become a target for the media and hunters. Ta Wook and Sung Jin answered positively despite knowing the risks. Ji Jin Wai thanked them. Then he proceeded to ask what the two of them were thinking. His question was about Ta Yun. But as per their agreement not to disclose who it was, he corrected himself by saying the actual skills of the person who cleared the S-rank dungeon Apocalypto. Sung Jin considered that this person cleared an S-rank by himself. He assumed that the person is at least on the S-rank level. Taewook added that the person's actual rank is still much lower, so it would be hard to gauge the extent of the power. Ji Jin Wei had an inkling on where the conversation was going. Go Taewook and Sung Jin exchanged glances. They were all thinking of the same thing, that there's a high possibility that Taeyun, who cleared the dungeon, would become national power level. In the realm where the sun is blocked by a dark object and the sky is crimson red, Taeyun had a surprised expression on his face. Monsters were everywhere in that area, and they all seemed to be heading in one direction. Taeyun watched them from a cliff. He couldn't believe his eyes. He wondered why he was in the abyss, and then the king appeared in the sky, in front of the dark round object blocking the sun. King stood there, floating in the air. Our MC was surprised to see him again. But aside from him, the monsters also saw the king, and it made them enraged. King extended his hand, and on his palm a gust of wind gathered, and in a single attack, he instantly cleared a row of monsters. Taeyun watched as the bodies of the monsters turned into specks of light. He couldn't fathom that it happened. And he heard the king say, "Ill be waiting. The king started to rise up to the now white sky. Taeyun, with a surprised expression on his face, listened to the king. Before the king fully vanished, it stated that he will be in the deepest part of the abyss. Taeyun's stay at the abyss ended. And that's when he regained consciousness in the hospital. He was breathing heavily. He checked his body and pondered if what he saw was a dream. But he knew it felt too real for just a dream. He recalled that the king said that he would be waiting. He wondered what it meant. And then he thought of the predator that even S-rank monsters are wary of. Then understanding the language of the monsters too. More and more questions from him arise. He thought that becoming stronger and going to the abyss is the only way. He then checked his status window. Right now, he is at B rank with a strength, speed, and stamina of 100. He now has the following skills, which are predation, stone skin, stealth, paralysis, monarch's heart, and knight's king spirit. His suspicions were confirmed when he saw that he was at B rank and had obtained the knight king spirit. He had a hunch during his fight with the lord of the death knights and was happy to see that he was right. He reached B rank, and with his stats, he is now almost on par with S rank players. He remembered that the Night King's disposition is a skill that suppressed him with tremendous pressure. He knew that with the rate of his growth, becoming national power level isn't far off. All of a sudden, he heard a loud noise outside his hospital room. He heard someone scolding another person. The person being scolded opened the door and complained about not being able to freely visit a patient. The person added that the president of the association is being too much. When the door was fully opened, it revealed you a young, and the guards in front of the door were defeated on the ground. She smiled at Kim Taehyun and uttered darling. Out of the blue, they rode in a car. The driver was on the back seat and was insisting that he should be the one to drive, but the guildmaster dismissed him. Yu Young was on the wheel, and Dae Yoon was on the passenger seat. 
She told the driver that he is her guest, so she will be the one to drive. Taehyun, while staring out the window, asked what she needs from him. Given that she's the guildmaster of one of the major four guilds, Yue Young made her answer light by saying that she wanted to see the kid who survived Apocalypto and drive him home from the hospital. Taehyun was dubious. He told her to come up with a more plausible lie. Yue Young commented that Taehyun is a sharp kid. Then she asked if he knew how the third player exam is conducted. She explained that the third exam is similar to the survival test, like the first one. But unlike the first exam, outsiders can watch from the stands. Then she elaborated that Taehyun's skill will be revealed and surely the guilds will start coveting a lower awakened who can even defeat SR ranks. Taehyun kept listening. Yu Young extended her hand to him while telling him that she will make an offer that he won't be able to refuse. She asked if what he wants is money or maybe fame. She assured him that she will give her what he wants if he joins the Nightwalker. Taehyun watched her with a blank expression on his face. None of them wanted to back down on their staring contest. While the driver on the back seat was feeling uncomfortable witnessing the tense situation, eventually, Taehyun answered that he was not interested. Yu Ayong couldn't help but feel surprised. She expressed it when she said, What did you say? Upon arriving at their destination, Taehyun thanked Yu Ayong for seeing him off. He told them that he will be walking from there but Yu Ayong did not easily let him go. She demanded an explanation on why he wouldn't join. She reiterated that whether it's salary or any other condition, she will give it to him. Then she started speculating that he already received an offer from another guild, or that maybe Taehyun did not fully understand her. Deep inside Taehyun, he finds the situation annoying. Taehyun explained that there's no special reason. He told her that there's no guild or condition offered to him. He inquired if Nightwalker's guild is really that special. In a confident manner, he told her that he's just saying no, just because he doesn't want to. He bid her goodbye. He happily descended the staircase, not sensing any danger or suspicious movements from Yu Ayon, but a hand reached out, and she covered his mouth with her hand. It was like he was being kidnapped. He turned to look at him, and he saw Yu Ayong furious and his power oozing out from her body as she asked him, what the hell is your deal? She told him that he's just getting started at becoming a player, and yet he dared to reject one of the four great guilds without a reason. She expressed that it made no sense. She removed her hand from his mouth, and she told him that she will forgive him. She turned his head to make him look at her while she stated, in fact, I like you in a seductive manner. The driver who witnessed everything panicked that she will cause him harm, so he reminded the guildmaster that Taehyun is still just a test taker, and then he scolded Taehyun for rejecting the guildmaster without any reason. He urged him to accept the offer since Hell have to join a guild sometime anyways. Taehyun grinned and commented how he had observed that the stubbornness was the same. He added that it was as he expected from Liam a young sister. Yu Ayong was taken aback. She mumbled on how he knew about that. Taehyun told her that he knew a lot of things and revealed that he knew about the stolen name too. Yu Ayong froze in shock. This triggered her powers to become stronger. It was a peaceful dark night. But that did not last long when Yu Ayong released all of her power that was like a beam reaching through the sky and it illuminated a wide area. With all of her strength, she grabbed him on his neck. The driver knew how bad the situation was. He knew the secret of their guildmaster. Yu Ayong's real name was actually Lim Ayong. Yu Xung Group CEO, Liam Cheng Yong raised her, a child born out of wedlock, as an heir. But when another daughter was born into the family, her name Lim Ayong was taken away, and she was reduced to an outsider. The fact that she changed her surname when she became a player is an information that only a few people should know. Yu Ayong was furious. She told him, how dare you yap away that nonsense in front of me? You're out of mind, aren't you? Taeyun replied that she's the one who started it. That made her confuse. Notification window displayed that a mysterious force is resisting the Amazon spirit and the resistance was successful. Kim Taehyun released his power, 
and he removed her hand on his neck by squeezing it tight. A new notification window displayed that she is being countered with Night King's spirit, and the counterattack was successful. That made you, Ah Young, keep her distance from him. She watched him carefully as she pondered what kind of power he had. Her hand was already trembling just because she got repelled. She thought that, as if it wasn't enough that he was able to bear an s rank player's powers, he also reversed it back at her. Taeyun's power slowly vanishes, and he looks at her. She was slightly nervous. He ascended the stairs and walked towards her. She was backed into the wall when Taeyun cornered her. And then, he warned her not to cross the line. With emphasis he called her, a young sister, Ms. A Young. She bit her lip in anger. But Ayoung blushed a little. The driver couldn't believe that Taehyun just said that. A day passed, and now many people are on their way to the Colosseum. The Colosseum, nostalgic of ancient Rome, is the venue of the third round of player tryouts. Unlike the first and second rounds that weren't revealed to the public, round three is allowed an audience. So, people from the industry, families of the test takers, and civilians are also in the arena as an audience to watch the tryouts. Yue Young, disguised as a civilian, was present to keep an eye on Taeyun. Taeyun's uncle and aunt were also there. They are thankful to Taeyun because they could watch something like that because of him. However, they look nervous. His aunt was worried since she heard that player tryouts are really fierce. On the other hand, Huang Jae Young was so confident and proud of his cousin that he even made a customized shirt to cheer for him. He assured his parents that they don't have to worry since Dai Hyun is strong. With exaggerated moves, he narrated that he could take all of the participants in just one blow. He emphasized that it was just one blow. It was funny how Huang Jae Young, a cousin of Tai Yun, had become the president of Kim Tai Hyun's fans club which currently only has one member. He was all fired up. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bench, the reporter was nervous. She took a mental note that she gotta get her hands on a proper news item this time. She is Kim Jija, a Psy Economic rookie reporter, and she's on the verge of being fired. Her last interview got scrapped for featuring a low-rank awakened, and she assumed that Kim Taeyun, whom she interviewed, must have already been disqualified. Now she's worried about getting fired if she doesn't get a good interview this time. The person beside her commented that the atmosphere felt strange. She heard that and checked the arena. Taeyun was standing there but a crowd of test takers kept their distance while also observing him. She took a closer look. She saw that there are countless high-ranking veteran awakened. And then there's also Lee Gilsan the A-ranker who was a promising candidate. Jija noticed that all these players were staring at just one guy. She speculated that they are trying to take down that one guy by joining forces. She wondered how strong the guy is for them to do that. With careful observation, she noticed that the guy is familiar to her. The round three of the player tryouts was about to begin, but one of the test takers wore a sinister smile. It was Kim Taeyun and he maintained his smile even when he was already being surrounded. The announcer advised the viewers to be cautious of the shock while watching. The test had begun. Taehyun remained calm and confident. It even looked like he was thrilled. It was him versus the world scenario. And in his mind, he thought, nah, I'd win. That's all the time we got for today. Thank you all for watching. If you loved the video, please consider subscribing.